kids hi how are you all did you all enjoy your english activity in the previous class and welcome back to today's session i appreciate all of you who did your activity you did it so well the activity on names i really enjoyed seeing all your creative work and a very big thanks to all the parents who supported now today what are we going to do what are we going to learn any guesses now children tell me how many of you like stories i love stories but how many of you like if you like stories then here comes a story for you and children you have to do one thing very carefully that is you must watch the story you must listen to the story carefully because the topic which we are going to learn today is in the story and you need to guess the topic are you all ready come then let's start gul jojo and hop are very excited they come rushing up to crow wanting to tell him something but they are so excited that they all speak at the same time trying to describe what they have just seen by the pond gul says we just saw a strange colorful jojo interrupts saying he had such such bright hop joins in saying i have never ever crow tells them to calm down crow tells them to complete their sentences so he can understand what they mean they begin speaking again gul says we just saw a strange colorful creature jojo adds he had such bright colors on his body and hop says i have never ever seen anything like it before crow now understands what they are saying he tells them he will go with them to try and solve this mystery but he has one condition he will be the one to speak to this creature and he will ask questions to find out what it is they find the strange colorful thing near the pond crow says oh colorful creature we have never seen anything like you can you run faster than gul the creature nods then crow asks can you jump higher than jojo the creature nods again finally crow asks can you swim faster than hop the creature nods jumps into the pond and starts swimming away but look at this as it swims its pretty colors wash off and everyone sees that the creature is popo they call him back popo explains that he stumbled into a puddle of paint and became all colorful so he thought he would fool his friends you are a naughty boy says hop i knew it was you says gul what a waste of time says crow you could never fool me says jojo come on says popo pull me out of the water now 5 so today's topic is sentence a sentence is a group of words that express a complete thought example Tom is going to play. A fragment, which is a group of words that does not express a complete thought, can never make a sentence. Now see the example. 
around the corner. This is just a fragment. It doesn't give us any complete sense. A group of words can be called as a sentence only if it has these five aspects. A subject and a predicate must make sense. It must start with a capital letter and must end with a punctuation mark. Now we are going to see types of sentences. There are four types of sentences. Declarative, exclamatory, interrogative and imperative. Sentences, sentences, four kinds of sentences exist. Exclamatory, declarative, interrogative, and imperative. I declare, I declare, Farmer Brown's goat is over there. Declarative sentences tell him for there's nothing exciting in their translation. Imperative, imperative, I gave a command, that's what I did. Put the book over there on the table, go to the kitchen and help your Aunt Mabel. Exclamatory sentences excite to proclaim I won first prize at the county fair My little brother just cut his own hair Interrogative, interrogative Questions with answers you must give Who, what, when, where, why, and how Answer these questions right here and right Sentences, sentences, four kinds of sentences exist. Exclamatory, declarative, interrogative, and imperative. Dear children, what does the song say? Let me explain to you again. A declarative sentence is a sentence that makes a statement. Now see the example. John is a student and it is a statement. Now comes an exclamatory sentence. An exclamatory sentence is a sentence that is said with strong feeling or emotions. Always ends with an exclamation mark. Now see the example. What a shame! Children, do you remember the story that you watched at the beginning of the session? You remember? Who interrogates? It's the wise crow, isn't it? So, an interrogative sentence is a sentence that asks a question and always ends with a question mark. Now see the example. What is your name? It ends with a question mark. Now, let's see about an imperative sentence. An imperative sentence is a sentence that is a command. It can also be a request. Now, see the example. Go to your room is a command and it ends with a period. 
we call it as full stop. Now, let's have a short review. Name the four types of sentences. Imperative, Interrogative, Declarative and Exclamatory. What is the difference between a sentence and a fragment? A sentence expresses a complete thought and a fragment does not. Here is an activity for you. You can prepare a chart like this or you can use a creative way to prepare a chart quoting different examples. Now let's have a quick review on the examples given so that you can quote your examples. Now in declarative sentence, I have a basketball game tonight. I just finished reading that book. Now interrogative, it's a question. Will you come to my game? Have you ever read this book? Next is an exclamatory sentence with an exclamation mark. We won the game. This is the best book I have ever read. Now. Next is an imperative sentence. It ends with a period, a command or it can be a request. Please come and watch me play. Read this amazing book. Children, did you enjoy today's session? I hope you can do your activity as well and learn more about declarative sentence, interrogative, exclamatory and imperative sentence by answering your Google form too. Bye-bye children. Have a nice day.